I'm Marissa Joseph. I'm a pediatrician and dermatologist in Toronto. Atopic dermatitis is a chronic skin condition, also known as eczema, that leads to dry, itchy rashes. Atopic dermatitis, asthma, and allergies tend to run in families because they have the same root cause. These are all known as allergic diseases. AD can begin in the first year of life and is commonly thought of as a childhood skin condition. In fact, it's the most common inflammatory skin condition of childhood. But we have lots of patients that actually can present with AD or eczema in adulthood. AD is a condition that can present differently depending on the age and the skin type of the patient. In the first few years of life, it often can be everywhere, especially on the cheeks. In older children, it can settle into the folds, so inside the elbows and inside the knees. But in certain ethnicities, it may actually be more common to have it on the tops of the elbows and the knees. And then into adulthood, you can have it anywhere as well, but it often will settle into the hands and around the eyes. It's really important when we talk about AD to consider the negative impacts on children, particularly on their quality of life. It can affect their sleep, their school performance, their emotional well-being, um, and can scar their skin as well. Another question parents will ask is how young can a child be before they can be helpful? I think it's important to engage them as young as possible. Create a game, make it normal for them to be putting some of the moisturizers and potentially treatments on their skin. I think it can help them be better overall. One of the things we talk about is how to engage with teens and adolescents in their own skin care. And I think the first step is really giving them their own agency and understanding that they are in charge of their health care and they have a voice. One of the things I always like to tell families who have a child who's been newly diagnosed with eczema is to try to instill a lot of hope. Even though we don't have a cure for this condition, we have a lot of really great treatments that can help to manage the condition. It's really important to connect with your healthcare provider to determine what the best plan is. <music>